Hey there everybody, Wayne DeFrancesco here. This is the Pro Tip of the Week. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, check out my website, waynedefrancesco.com, where you can get a lot more content like this uh, in more detail and a lot of great stuff. But this is free, and we're going to talk today about the difference between the release for the driver and a release for a ball that's on the ground where you're trying to compress it. So as you probably know, the driver's teed up and you'd like to sweep the ball off the tee. And when the ball is on the ground, it's a good idea to hit the ball first and then hit the ground so that you can hit the ball more in the face and give it a penetrating flight. So we're looking for compression with the ball on the ground. Now as you can see, this is a fairway wood the Tiger's teeing off with. And from the setup here, you can see what he's getting ready to do is hit a low bullet, much more like an iron shot. So he's got the ball a little bit inside the left heel. Now over here, this is 2002. I had a, the opportunity to play that year in the PGA Championship. This is at Atlanta Athletic Club, and he was doing a clinic for the crowd. You can see the people sitting in the chairs over there. Now, he had this short little driver he was using then. And you can see that his setup way, way different there than the one on the right where he's going to try to hit down on it. He's going to try to hit up on this ball. So he's got it a little bit inside of his heel. Most of the time, to launch the ball, you might play it a little bit more forward. But he's kind of leaning back on this one a little. So you can definitely say that he's 60-40 right. He's going to get extremely wide. This is his old swing where he used to drive the ball better. But here's the key point. The key point is that when the club achieves the parallel to the ground position, the hands are behind the right leg, meaning that with the ball here and the hands back there that he has X amount of space in which the club head can come all the way down to the ball bang and the hands will travel just to here but the whole idea is if you watch the impact let's get that shaft even with the ball and use the true loft of the club to launch the ball up in the air. So Tiger used to be much wider in the release area. He used to use the loft of the club so his drivers weren't as lofted as they are today. Now that's the type of release I like to teach with the driver. Wider release and then with the clubs that we're trying to compress the ball, watch the difference here. Here we're going to get the hands even in front of the ball while the club is parallel to the ground. Look where the grip end is. And then when the club makes contact, there's a tremendous amount of forward lean. So if you take a, whatever he's hitting there, probably a four or five wood with somewhere in the neighborhood of, say, between 17 and degrees aloft or 19 and you take off 12. <laughs> the ball's coming off pretty low. Now one of the problems that people have when they achieve a good iron swing that compresses the ball and takes a divot in front, if you swing the driver exactly the same, you have problems because it's not optimum to hit down too much on your driver. It's also not optimum to hang back on your right side and try to pull, get the thing to launch way up in the air. There's a happy medium, but suffice it to say that you have to adjust between the driver and the iron. Now, ball position and width of stance, weight distribution plays a huge role in that. But what I'm saying is if you can let the club feel like it's 
If you tend to be late with your driver, if you can feel it release a little bit earlier, you'll get a better sweep of the ball. All right, it's a pro tip of the week. I'm Wayne D.